Okay, so in this uh, video, we will be having a look at this particular drawing. Um, it is the general arrangement for EV unit installation. And for this particular case, we are assuming that we have a single phase main meter. Um, for the case of the three phase meter, it is something similar, but obviously, we will have instead of a single phase and a neutral, we'll have three phases and uh, a neutral. So we have the NMALTA supply. So that will be here. We have the service box and the NMALTA meter. This will be the meters tails, okay? And that goes into the main switch which is typically an MCB to pole 40 amp. Now, the role of this MCB to pole 40 amp is to protect the installation okay, against an overcurrent, which depends on the type of the MCB, which is usually a type C and 40 amp. Now, the minimum size of cable Okay, which is to be used until we go into the individual MCBs is six millimeters squared, but sometimes it will be uh, a bit larger uh, for, um, for example, 10 millimeters squared. But according to the um, IET regulations, BS 7671, for 40 amperes, we can have six millimeters squared on a single phase system now the next device that we have in our configuration is the over voltage protection device now the over voltage protection device according to the rose technical note is not a surge protection but it is there to protect against the fluctuations in the 230 volts which may occur during regular operation. Okay, in more technical terms, we say that it is to monitor the RMS, the root mean squared, and therefore to protect against any steady state and therefore non-transient fluctuations. Now, the over voltage is obligatory for new electrical installations. So if you have recently bought an apartment or a house or any type of property, this should have been included in your installation. Um, for older installations, it is still recommended because it offers protection for the uh, installation and the appliance. Now, um, from an engineering perspective, um, it is also highly recommended to include surge protection devices, although these are not obligatory by the electrical installation regulations in Malta, they are highly recommended, especially when there are overhead lines. The scope of the surge protection is to protect against very fast transients, against very uh, fast changes in the voltage, which are not covered by the over voltage protection device. Why? The over voltage protection device usually has a minimum delay, a minimum reaction time of 100 milliseconds. Now, on a 50 hertz supply, the uh, period for one oscillation is of 20 milliseconds. So, the reaction time of this particular device is not suitable for transient voltages which uh, may come from a variety of sources for example um, direct or indirect lightning strikes on the lights so the surge protection is still um, highly recommended although it is not obligatory now after the over voltage we will have the rcd 40 milli 40 amps current and 30 milliamp residual current now, in, in, if you have an apartment, um, you may find the RCD 
uh, in the common space, which may be 100 milliamps. Um, and then you have another one protecting the uh, apartment of 30 milliamps. It is very important that all final circuits are protected with this 30 milliamp RCD because anything uh, which is slightly higher than 30 milliamps, typically around 50 milliamps, can cause injury or death. So all final circuits must be protected with a maximum of 30 milliamps. Now, if you have an existing installations, probably you have single pole MCBs um, which switch on or off um, the line wire, okay, the live wire, and uh, you will get the neutrals to the neutral link. Now, what is uh, interesting to this particular drawing is that it specifies uh, what we need to do to get the EV meter uh, or the EV submeter. So we need to include an MCB, which is a two-pole MCB. So the two-pole MCB must switch and protect both the line and the neutral. So from that, we need to use a cable to go into the EV meter. And um, after the EV meter, we go into another isolator um, or MCB, uh, once again, uh, two pole, if we have a single phase meter. Now, the type of wiring is PVC sheeted and PVC insulated. So we need to have um, a maximum of six millimeters squared for a single phase EV charger. Okay, the six millimeters squared is basically the maximum which can be handled for a 40 amp installation. Usually six millimeters squared is associated with a 32 amp charger. So it is basically used as having anything larger than six millimeters squared. Now it is very important that the cable is PVC sheeted and PVC insulated. So one of the common methods here is to use a two core or when the two core is not available, a three core cable, which is uh, insulated for protection. And then um, from the meter, we go into the isolator or another MCB. Um, from the MCB, uh, we need to take the line, the neutral and the earth, and we actually run uh, with uh, wires onto the EV charger. So this is actually the circuit wiring for the EV charger. So um, some of um, the users have commented why do we need to have an MCB to pole and an isolator MCB, uh, another one to pole. Um, basically, um, you have um, here you are switching the supply to the meter, and here you are isolating or switching off the actual charger. Now, the second device can be an isolator, there is no need for it to be an MCB because the circuit is already protected by the two pole MCB before the EV meter unit. So that basically following those recommendations and having someone certifying that your installation um, is according to this drawing uh, will enable you to apply for the EV meter. Now, just a minor recommendation. Um, what we usually recommend is that instead of having a two pole MCB here, okay, we use an RCBO. An RCBO is a residual current breaker with overload protection, and that will allow you to have the EV charging station in parallel with the rest of the installation. So getting an RCBO of type A, you connect to this particular point, 
so that any leakage current from the EV charger would not be summed up to the rest of the installation, but it would be protected with a different residual current device with 30 milliamp of protection. Um, that is still legal, you still have current protection, you still have um, overload protection and switching capabilities, but um, you avoid tripping or causing uh, any unwanted trips due to the charger. Um, it might cost a little bit more, a couple of euros, but um, it has certain advantages, which a simple two-pole MCB connected to the rest of the installation would not offer. Um, we remind you that at KSC Engineering, we offer updating of consumer units, certification of installations, and also certification for the particular purpose of the EV meter unit. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, um, we encourage you to follow us on our Facebook page, KSC Engineering Manta, and subscribe to our channel on uh, YouTube. Um, which has some interesting videos related to electrical installations in motor. Thank you and see you in the next video.